When we are developing our Power BI reports, we often have to create a whole list of measures that we are only using for a single visual, where we need those measures to set up conditional formatting, change the maximum of the y-axis, or dynamic titles. Now, wouldn't it be great if we don't need to store them in our data model so that everything stays nice and clean and do it at the visual level? Well, we can now with visual calculations. All right, starting off with conditional formatting. Let's say we have a column chart like this one over here. I just want to highlight the maximum or the maximum and minimum. We can just select the visual, go over here to our builds panel, tool tips, and then over here we have the button to add a new visual calculation. Now, let's call this one CF for conditional formatting, max is equal to, and then we can use a max x function to go row by row over the months. Well, I don't have to specify in visual calculation the month name field, which I have on the x-axis. Instead of that, I can just say rows, whatever there is on rows. And that is a big, big benefit of visual calculations because it's much more dynamic. Now, what measure do I want to base it on? On the total sales. Now let's see if this works. Now this returns 6.7 thousand, which is indeed the maximum here we have it for March. Perfect. Now, if I want to use this now for conditional formatting, I have to tweak it a little bit further and put it inside of an if function. Good. So now I want to use it for conditional formatting. So I go here to the formatting panel, columns, and then over here we have the FX button, then choose field value, and then see if max, you see, now I'm allowed to click OK. And boom, it works. All right, and that's it. And again, the big benefit of using a visual calculation for that is that it doesn't really matter what is on the x-axis. So I can go over here and choose something different than month name. And you see, it will still highlight the maximum. And with normal measures, well, I would have to hard code in this max x what we are iterating over, right? So here, that's nicely dynamic. Here, I extended the logic to also highlight the minimum. And instead of returning light green and red, you can also still work with one and two and set up a rule-based conditional formatting. That is also still working. All right, or maybe you want to highlight the columns on the basis of the change month over month. Now, then you could do this. Here, I'm applying a green or red color on the basis of the month over month difference. And you see that the syntax of these visual calculations is much easier. We can just refer to that previous data point, the previous month total sales. All right, good. Let's have a look at another practical use case where I would prefer visual calculations over measures.